sister city of Wexford, Ireland. Dang, look at the name. Uh, that's the life right there. Shore boat on it too. Well, we ask. All right, party people, we made it to Philadelphia. We're gonna try to trek over to Independence Hall. I wonder what they're doing up here. That looks like Washington crossing the Delaware River right there. That's him standing on the end there. There's the signing of the Declaration of Independence. There's the Declaration of Independence on the side of the building up there. I think it was this, but it's been replaced with a brick building now. Look at that, cellar doors. I want to go down and get a map at the um, at the visitor center so we can figure out what we want to go to. Yeah. John Adams, Sam Adams. It's an old building, ain't it? Yeah. It's open. 10 a.m. So it's not quite 10 yet. So we'll walk down to the Independence right. Center and then we'll come back through here. The famous sign. Yeah, it looks like it might be closed. It says Wednesday through Sunday. So, in case you hadn't figured it out, we don't plan anything. We just go, right? Yeah. Whatever's open's open. We don't. We keep on going. That's the way we work. When something out there, I can see some people at the front having something. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna go to something else. The Constitution Center's closed. Only open on Wednesday through Saturday. So we're just inside the uh, visitor center right now. Into the bathroom. We're gonna hit Liberty Bell, which is right out this door over here. Need a life-size Rocky for your home. That's a kitchen basement. It's the Washington. That's uh, the old house. And they found uh, documents from George Washington on it remodeled on it and how to all that stuff and also when the slaves came over they i think they used it for a second that's an old uh, brick down there buddy all the slave trees so apparently they had a whole lot of problems in the middle See this this is a picture of the, like almost an x-ray picture. Yeah. This is like a metal spider inside to keep it stable. Because it's got that they drilled it out. Walk on up and get you to look at it. I get your picture with it. <laughs> Almost looks like it's fossilized, huh? <laughs> Has it got like some kind of creosote in it or something? That would, I don't know. That's it, it, what it looks like. Something to preserve it. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. in the book and on the TV. I ain't never seen it before. That's kind of the same way. I guess that's part of the skeleton the spider. Yep. As you can see it up under there. So, this is the tomb of the unknown revolutionary soldier. Remember, we had the tomb of the unknown soldier back at. Uh, in, in Arlington, that was for a World War One soldier. This is for a revolutionary soldier. It's already kind of misting out here. We don't need to get up under the waterfall, do we? <laughs> Eternal Flame was dedicated in 1976 by the Continental Bank. In memory of those who fought and gave their lives that we our 200th anniversary as a free people. Wow, that was in 76, 17 to 19. So this thing's been burning since 1976. What was the top of that thing? 
and it's an open flame. It's, a, it's like a gas nozzle, it looks like. It's got some metal around it. I am mean, wondering what will happen to it when it rains. It probably don't go out if it's gas, because you know when they have the gas know. leaks, they burn underwater. But that's the tomb right there. They burn one of them at Kennedy's place too, don't they? Yep, in Arlington. Remember yeah. when we saw Kennedy? Yeah. They had Kennedy. They had that one daughter that died early, I think. Yeah. And then they had the other. Uh, I forgot who else was there. There was, there's like four grave sites there, maybe five. I can't remember, but. Beneath this stone rests a soldier of Washington's army who died to give you liberty. That's a big hill up there, right? That's probably Washington, yeah. Freedom is a light for which many men have died in darkness. In unmarked graves within this square lie thousands of unknown soldiers of Washington's army who died of wounds and sickness during the Revolutionary War to independence of liberty. It says for work of joint council, joint effort of common danger, suffering, and success. Yeah, so they say out here in this area right here there's a whole bunch of unknown people buried here all right so let's see let's get on this bench over here plot our next move Man, it can't be much more than 25 degrees yes it's probably one of the best days to be up here inside the city we're heading over to Betsy Ross house. We just stopped momentarily. That's old Ben Franklin sitting up there in that one. Up there in that window. A couple replica of the statue by Lazarus. Benjamin and Deborah Franklin, 1790. Wow. Yeah, the father of Philadelphia, William Penn, was a Quaker. Philadelphia is still a hub of the Quaker community. Two acres of land that made up the first burial ground in William Penn's Philadelphia. Dang, 1683 people were buried here. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right on your feet. Grave markers were considered by the Quaker community to be inconsistent with the plainness of our principles and practice, so they didn't mark the graves. They knew very little about the location of the graves because they didn't use grave markers. You're probably standing on somebody right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, I heard somebody yell when I stepped. Alright, let's get out of here. The way they suck us down there. This is the Betsy Ross house. First stars and stripes flag. She lived and worked here. Had it got a picture of it? We'll see it. We'll see a replica in there. 
Alright, we're in the Betsy Ross house. So you doing a flag too? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm leaving a scarf for the cashier's birthday present. Oh, all right. Sorry, boys. That's all right. Be careful in the steps, okay? Maybe next time. Two of her seven daughters died as infants. Her mother and father and sister died within days of each other during the yellow fever epidemic. Wow. Betsy was 24 when her first husband, John, died. Her second husband died in an English prison after his ship was captured by the British. She at last enjoyed a lengthy marriage to her third husband, John Claypool. They had five daughters and were married for 34 years before he passed. Wow. All right, so we just entered the house. Check out the size of the room. Talking about a tiny room. Huh. But I guess it did the trick. Right? A little sugar. So for a hundred years, nobody knew she made it. Only her family knew that she made the flag. Nobody yeah. else knew. They hid it for a hundred years. Commemorating Delaware River Port ribbon cutting ceremony of the open of the Betsy Ross Bridge. Yes, just a replica. Let's go over here and go up the stairs. All right, we just went upstairs. This is the bedroom. Betsy and her husbands did not own a house. Betsy rented rooms in this house from Hannah Lithgow, a widow. This property was rented to several different tenants at one time. <laughs> desk and a feather pen. Flags for the new nation was a dangerous job. If the British soldiers found out, Betsy could have been charged with treason and sent to prison. That's why they kept it so much of a secret. In a house filled with many people, her bedchamber was probably the safest room. In the fall of 1777, the British captured the city, taking anything they needed from the residents. British soldiers moved into their homes and took money, valuables, clothing, blankets, food. Betsy may have had to share her home with enemy soldiers. Wow. She didn't make crap out of it. Why is the flag on the floor? In Betsy Ross's time, no United States flag could have existed. We chose to display the flag in this manner to give it an accurate representation of what it would be like to stitch a large, bulky 10 foot flag, common size in the 18th century. In compliance with modern flag code, there is cloth underneath the flag to keep it off the floor. I see. Quite unusual. Citizens don't typically seek out flags for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Doing laundry. So we were just up talking to the house bestie, Ross, and she was telling us what the flag was made of. It's, um, what she said, it was a wool, uh, what was it? Batten? Yeah. Some kind of uh, what you see. loomed uh, canvas. It felt like a, some kind of a weed. Yeah, and the eyelets in the flag is just three, a bunch of threads sewn around, so they would punch a hole in it with all and then sew around it a bunch of times with some thick thread. And it, it ain't, it ain't like, like metal, metal like we had yeah. these, you know, just little aluminum or brass eyelets. And she says sometimes that they sew the actual rope into the flag to hang it from. And she had a smaller flag there that said it took her about a week to stitch it. Old musket right here. Yeah, they didn't have that walking game, but it did. More time, more time was difficult for many tradespeople in Philadelphia. Betsy's business declined or progressed. The commons no longer desired expensive of posty work. She took on government contracts. Journals of Continental Congress state that on May 29, 1777, Ross was paid over 14 pounds, a significant amount of money at the time for making flags for the Pennsylvania Navy. She also paid for making musket balls and cartridges for the Continental Army. Oh, she was, she was a multi-talented, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. Like she was just doing whatever she could to make money back then. So it's 76. I mean, that's a ripe old age back in those days. You're right. She retired because her eyes, her vision was failing. Wow. I mean, it was doing all that so much. She died when she was 84 years old. That is a... That's a, quite a feat from back in the 1700s. So that's where she is buried, right there, along with her husband, her last husband. But her name was not Betsy Ross. She was born Elizabeth Riscom. 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 Of Quaker parents. January 1st, 1752. I don't know when she changed her name to Betsy. 
Was Betsy short for Elizabeth? Anyhow, she became a Ross through marriage. Her real name was Elizabeth Briscoe. That was her non, that was her maiden name. Hmm. Buried right there in the courtyard, right out here inside the house. Never thought you'd had to wait for a fire truck to back up, right? To a fire station. Made our way down to the U.S. Mint. Really does the Mint public tour and gift shop are closed until further notice. We're gonna take a walk up here before Penn's land and see if we can get a view. Uncovered, so there's another option for you. We park down here in the garage, the bus park. So, this is where we park on 2nd Street. The bus entrance right there is 13 foot clear, as you can see on the sign. The other entrance over there is smaller, it's only like 6 foot 6. So. You know, we gotta do the rocky steps while we're out here, so that's why we had to stop. Can't let Apollo Creed win. You know what I mean? What was that other one they fought? They fought H Hogan in one of them. What? I didn't ever see that. <laughs> yeah. He fought the Russian. Yeah, I remember we fought, we fought him. Oh. Size of the boat. You see Jordy Stadium? It's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit. Keep moving forward. That's winning is done. Hey, y'all want to get him? Nah, we, uh, why? You scared he gonna hit you? Problem. You might hit him, you might hit him. All right, we made it to the front. We got popped. We're at the front of the RV van right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Da 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 Out of breath yet? Not yet. I can feel my legs. What do you think? About 16 more times would be worked out for today? Yeah. I think so. See how it is from here to down there to the end? From here all the way down? There's a big building at the very end of the road down there. Yeah. This uh, this road here is modeled after the in France that were the Champs Elysees and the uh, Arc de Triomphe. That's why. So you get a lot of people running up these steps. It's a popular thing to do. Now you've been where Rocky's been. You still in shape? I ain't in the shape he was in. Here we go. Na 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 na. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na